I once heard someone say that it's easy to love the mountains, but that it takes soul to love the prairie. Grasslands are one of the most endangered ecosystems on our planet. We need this habitat. It's life-sustaining. When we're talking about temperate grasslands, the reason they're so important is because not only do they provide an abundance of biodiversity, wildlife habitat, um, water filtration function, they also provide carbon storage and stability in that landscape, which is so important. Wetlands complement grasslands and vice versa, and you need them both. Wetlands are essentially like kidneys. The benefit of having multiple wetlands on the landscape provides a really effective filtration system. We've lost roughly two thirds of our natural wetlands since settlement. And along with that, we lose all the ecosystem services provided by those habitats. A lot of times people think that we can have just these little remnant postage stamps of habitat and species will be okay. That's not true. A lot of them depend on large contiguous blocks of that ecosystem to be able to survive. The species that depend on the grasslands are losing their homes. 75 to 85% of our species at risk live in our grasslands. That's because these species that need this area to survive, their habitat is decreasing over time. And so they have nowhere to go. They're left in these little pockets. When we are converting this landscape, we are making decisions that last a lifetime. The opportunity with McIntyre Ranch, it's one of the largest ranches in Alberta. It's one of the largest privately owned landscapes that will have the opportunity to, to help conserve forever. It's unique in a number of ways, not the least of which is its sheer size, over 55,000 acres of contiguous native habitat. The Thrall family deserves a lot of credit for their stewardship of that land. They've done an excellent job and we want to help them be able to continue doing that. Conservation easements are a very unique tool in that it enables the entity that holds a conservation easement to purchase a very specific bundle of rights associated with the habitat. And the monies that are saved by doing it that way, we can leverage that money to do a lot more conservation work than if we were buying straight out right. The idea of, of working with the Thrall family and protecting the McIntyre Ranch has been going on for a lot of years to come to fruition. It's so exciting. Here we are on the McIntyre Ranch. It's been in our family for 73 years and uh, 53 years prior to that in the, in the McIntyre family. I view the McIntyres as pioneer conservationists. It was about sustainable ranching. With the conversion of grasslands, we've got about 24% of our temperate grasslands left on the Canadian prairies. My hope would be that we keep that remaining 24%. We have that, and we can choose to keep it that way and protect it for the long term. This family is very focused on leaving a legacy, ensuring that after they're gone, this land will remain intact. It's really special to be a part of something that continues to be the way that it used to be. Being out by myself, listening to the peacefulness, seeing the peacefulness, seeing the raw natural beauty that this land offers, helped me understand on the one hand how insignificant I am in the grand scheme of things, and yet it's also helped me to realize I do play a role in preserving it. And, and it's an important role because together we can do good things. There are only a few times in each of our lives where we get to make a contribution that lasts forever. By protecting the McIntyre Ranch, we are protecting one of the largest privately owned tracts of native prairie remaining in all of Canada. 
Now, more than ever before, Canada's wild spaces need help from people just like you. 